Hi everyone. Uh, today we'll discuss about the breast cancer prediction model with decision tree and adaptive boosting. So for adaptive boosting, we are going to use AdaBoost, and uh, we are going to see how it is going to improve our performance, our uh, accuracy, and everything, so that uh, the weak learners are uh, used to, uh, further to improve the model, to improve the prediction model. So in this lab, uh, you will explore the breast cancer data set and uh, try to train the model to predict a person is having breast cancer or not. We will start off with a weak learner, a decision tree with a maximum depth of 2. Then we will uh, build a uh, Adaboost assembly, assembly with uh, 50 trees with a step of 3 and compare the performance with a weak learner. Let's get started with the library. So we will use NumPy, Panda, Scikit-Learn, uh, Matplot library, Cbond, Scikit-Learn model, and we will import uh, trend test fleet, scaffold, grid search, uh, CV, cross as code, label encoder, decision tree classifier, adaboost classifier, gradient boosting classifier, uh, load bridge cancer, uh, load digit, metrics. And for warning, which is which we generally get if the data is not there in one of the cells, then we are ignoring for it now. So we'll use the breast, breast cancer uh, data set in which the target variable has one if the person is having cancer or zero for otherwise. Uh, let's load the data. So once we uh, load the data into this cancer, then we'll, we'll load the digit. So uh, once we load it, so we'll uh, use uh, data frame, uh, pandas data frame to take the data and put it into this data frame. So here we can see, so we are having zero or one for, and we these are the few attributes, the feature names we have, and uh, we have this uh, target here. So for data frame dot head, we can see different attributes, different uh, which we imported from the uh, from the uh, CSV file, and these are the targets which we have. So let's start with the uh, AWS thing. So uh, if we create a X and Y train, and we we are dropping the data tar target for now, and if we uh, train uh, split data into train and test validation set, so. We are using a test size of 0 0.20 and a random state of 101. So once we train it and we train and test it, so we are getting a 455 cross 30 each train. So initially it was 455 cross 30. So initially it was 559 cross 31. So it is the train state, uh, train, uh, train model is now into 455 cross 30. And y train is uh, 4 to 3 cross 1. Similarly, x test is 1 14 cross 30. And y test is uh, uh, 1 14 cross 1. So, if we check the average, average mean of the train and test, so we are able to see that it is coming around 0 0.62 to 0 0.63. So, 0 0.2262 to 63, which is very, uh, uh, so if the training and test model is not uh, fit enough, so we are going for uh, uh, base estimator. So we are using a weak learner such as uh, decision tree classifier for now with a depth maximum depth of 2 and random state of 100. So we are creating a value tree here with the decision tree. So once we uh, fit the model, we give the x train data and y train data to it. So once we predict the score and once we see the score, how much we are getting a uh, accuracy of 0 0.93. So which is uh, still good enough to proceed. 0 0.93 is uh, not a bad to uh, not a bad score here. But we will use Adaboost model to increase the number of trees from 1 to 50 with a step of 3, and we will see how it is going to improve the accuracy. And the score of the map. So once we are using estimators here, 
in the adverbs we have different estimators of 1 to 50 to the step of 3. So once you use that, we will pass this estimator uh, within a loop and we will use adverbs classifier to see the score, how much it is. So 1 to 50, 1 to 50 is a step of 3. So once we see the score and we will calculate the score and we will try to append it and plot plot it in a graph. So we will see that the score improved improve drastically. So whenever it is around 8 to 9 estimator, it is coming around the accuracy of 0 0.99. And again we can see uh, around 50 it is coming around 0 0.98. So initially here we are you are getting a score of 0 0.93, so which has improved drastically to 0 0.9 uh, more than 0 0.99, and uh, if you are using 50 uh, random estimator, so it is coming around 0 0.96 more than 0 0.97. So which is a good thing. We are we are able to score more using Adagus. Uh, so. Uh, Thanks for watching this video. So I will keep on making this video and I will put this code in my GitHub. So if anyone wants to download it and play around it, he will be able to do it. Uh, thanks for watching this video. I will keep on posting more videos related to it. And if we want to learn more about uh, artificial, artificial uh, intelligence journals and everything, so I will put the link of this uh, website where you can see different abstract and uh, different um, uh, usage of the models and uh, efficiency adaptive boosting so which will help us in future thanks for watching have a great